A major shakeup in the sheriff's department. Four top commanders fired unexpectedly. 12 News Brendan Conway is live downtown, and Brendan, two of those commanders went to court to get their jobs back. That's right, Kathy. You know, sources in the department tell me that these layoffs have everyone here on edge. Meanwhile, an attorney who's representing two of those commanders who were laid off is saying that the sheriff is using the county's budget crunch to simply get rid of people he doesn't like. Captain Darlene Goodlett has been with the Milwaukee County Sheriff's Department for 19 years. Captain Kerry McKenzie, 17 years. Both rose through the ranks to become members of Sheriff David Clark's command staff. But two days after Christmas, that ended when each received a layoff notice saying their positions were cut in the 2012 budget. The sheriff apparently has used this as an opportunity to get rid of people he doesn't like and promoting favored people. According to documents obtained by 12 News, a week before Goodlett and McKenzie were fired, two people with far less experience were promoted to captain, basically taking their positions. Goodlett and McKenzie filed for an injunction, and a judge ordered them reinstated last week. But instead of getting their jobs back, Sheriff Clark assigned them to the House of Correction in Franklin. And in essence, what they were assigned to do was the same work as a correctional officer, which is the lowest person under David Clark's command. Meaning the highly trained captains are working at their full salary in a job that normally pays about $11 an hour. They totally anticipated that the sheriff would retaliate in some way, shape, or form if they were to prevail, and they did prevail. Multiple sources tell me in the wake of this situation, Clark fired two more experienced people. Captain Peter Jaskowski, who has nearly 25 years on the job, and Captain Michael Rebelinski, who has been with the department since 1993, were both laid off effective today. And I'm told both those men are also considering legal actions. Sheriff Clark declined to comment to us about this story. Meanwhile, McKenzie and Goodlett, they will continue to keep their jobs, likely stay down at the House of Correction until the county Civil Service Commission rules on their case. That is expected to happen next month. Live outside the Sheriff's Department, Brendan Conway, WISN 12 News.